Hello, 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 my dear friends. My name is Azad Mardan, and I am the founder and creator of Node University. In this short lecture, I will be talking about package.json. Package.json is probably the most important file in any Node.js project, be it an application or a command line tool or even a, an NPM module or a package. So what is package.json? It's a JSON file. So that's the extension .json. It's spelled lowercase package.json. It's your project manifest file. It's the metadata for your project. Things such as license, certain configurations, the dependencies of this project, the name. Name is very important for publishing this project as a module on NPM. Must be globally unique. And then you can also put some configurations, such as configurations for Babel, for example. I like to put my Babel configurations in package.json. So you put this file in the root of your project. What is the root of the project? So that's the main folder, the main folder of your project. So if I create a project named foobar, I would create a folder foobar and I would go inside of that folder and that would be the root of my project. So the very beginning in terms of the folders and directories. You don't put package.json inside of any folder. It must be on the very first level. That's why it's called root. So now you know where to put package.json. You know what it's for. It's for the metadata of the project. Let's talk about dependencies. Dependencies are defined in package.json as many other configurations and the metadata for the project. And it's very, very important to have them in your package.json. If you don't have them, then let's say someone else copies your project, then maybe they, they wouldn't know what versions and what packages to use. So your project needs to be portable, transportable to other platforms, other computers. And also for deployment, you want to know what dependencies you need. So put them in your package.json. So there are three types of dependencies, regular, dev dependency, and optional dependency. Regular dependency, there is a dependencies property, dependency key in that JSON. It's on the first level. So what you do as the keys, you would define the names of those packages. And then as values, you would define the versions. And the way the versions work in NPM, is by using semver, semantic versioning. It has three digits, major, minor, and the patch. Major means it's a big change, patch it means it's a tiny little bit change. So put those versions in, in your package.json for the dependencies. What about dev dependencies? Dev dependencies, there are some libraries, some packages, some tools which you don't necessarily need for production deployment. Maybe they're testing tools, maybe they're uh, bundling tools such as Webpack, maybe they're dev servers such as Nodemon or Node.dev or HTTP server. Some tools which you actually don't want to, be, to deploy in production because the more tools you have, and especially when they're not necessary, the more security and vulnerability uh, you introduce, which you don't want to have in production. So don't don't put everything in the normal dependencies put only the necessary things license license is a very important field i like to put an mit there is a way in npm to configure what would be the default package.json the way i like to create my package.json in a new project i would just type npm space init it will ask me a few questions, I can customize the responses and it will spit out uh, the package.json file. It will create that for me. If I just want the default answers, the default values, I would use npm space init space dash y. Dash y stands for yes. This is how I can create a brand new project and create a package.json in that project. So that's it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.